Update one on Cyclone Caleb, which has formed in the Indian Ocean, not too far from Australia. At 3 p.m. UTC, March 23rd, it's got winds of 45 miles an hour and a pressure of 995 millibars. Currently located at 13.3 south, 101.2 degrees east. No warnings in effect right now, uh, and the storm is not expected to impact any land areas over the next five days. Let's take a look at what it is expected to do. As you can see, it's expected to remain very weak. Uh, one or two models being even less optimistic than we are, saying that it will be a very short spin-up storm that will dissipate um, by the 48-hour mark. Uh, but we're giving it the benefit of the doubt, and we say that it will last up to around five days, potentially, and possibly could gain a little bit more strength than it's currently got. Right now it's a stage 2 on the CDPS scale, 308 miles east-southeast of the Cocos Islands and 362 miles southwest of Christmas Island. Uh, no warnings are in effect of course and um, a newly formed storm conditions near the centre could cause some damage, obviously only an issue for shipping interests. Um, over the next few days uh, the storm is not expected to get anywhere near land areas indeed and the wind field will remain uh, well over water and will probably continue to be displaced to the northwest thanks to the high wind shear in the area which we'll be looking at next. Um, but it may well hang on for a few days as it moves gradually towards the south or towards the southeast. Well, let's take a look at the sea surface temperatures right now. Uh, as you can see, they're pretty warm, 28 degrees Celsius or so. If it does find itself down towards the southeast near Australia, water temperatures are much higher, 30 degrees plus, but it won't. Uh, if it moves towards the south, which is likely, sea surface temperatures are only going to go down. Wind shear is its biggest enemy right now, as you can see, uh, fairly high amounts of wind shear surrounding the storm, and it's only on the increase too, uh, decreasing to its north, uh, but that's where it was really high, and increasing to the south where it was really low. And this is how the storm is actually appearing to us right now. Um, perhaps maybe slightly reminiscent to Yvette of last December, uh, but there is the storm moving gradually towards the south, and as you can see, displaced massively towards the west and northwest of centre. Um, that is all probably due to wind shear, um, and that will continue. Uh, cloud tops aren't terribly high, but there is still there is some um, convective activity going on there. Uh, certainly not devoid of it, is it? And that justifies the 45 mile an hour wind that has been backed up by ASCAT. Elsewhere in the tropics, we've got this uh, 99S, which made landfall in Australia not so long ago. Looked pretty good, didn't it? Uh, we're not sure whether it was a tropical cyclone or not at landfall, but it certainly looked the part and is now moving inland, probably going to be a rainmaker for parts of Western Australia. Um, we would show you 91P, but the server is down at the moment on the NOAA side of things. Uh, but there we do have 99S, which is gradually moving towards the south-southeast. Uh, we were watching that for a while and Australia thought it might have formed, uh, but it didn't form in the end and has now, um, well, scuffed any chances of forming, of course, as it moves inland. Uh, and there you can see the whole picture for Australia, 99S there on the left, 91P on the right. And we were watching that one closely because some models at the moment are being pretty bullish on what it's going to do. The latest HWRF saying it'll be a Category 3 hitting Queensland. We'll monitor that one for you. So 2017 so far, uh, we've seen seven tropical storms, two Category 1s, this is on the Sapphire Simpson hurricane scale, and one Category 4, ever so slowly beginning to catch up to other years. Uh, 2017 is almost a record slowest start to a season. And here we are again, 11 storms so far. Uh, you'd have expected that number around mid-February probably on average. And uh, that's how far behind we are so far. And if we use the ACE totals, it's the slowest start to a year since 1946. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com and its tracker at your service at any time. You can find us on YouTube, subscribe if you haven't already, search Force 13, you're probably there right now. You can also find us on Facebook, search Force 13 all in text, and it's the same for Twitter, handle is at Force 13 if you'd like to get in touch. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.